Hello and welcome to Bonnet Pro. My name is John Klusnick. I'm the founder of Bonnet Pro. I've been a cleaner since 1985. I still clean weekly. And today we're going to do Bonnet 101. We're going to go over uh, the differences between synthetic and natural fiber bonnets, how to care for your bonnets, when and why to use them, and things not to do also. And later we're going to do a demo between uh, Cymex and a uh, bonnet machine to show you the differences and why you bonnets are so critical in your low moisture carpet care. Here I have a pile of synthetic bonnets. You may or may not have seen some of these in the past. We have some microfiber, uh, we have some older microfiber, an old diamond pad, even the, the Christmas tree uh, microfiber bonnet. And these share a lot of common traits, which are the synthetic pads have a tendency to hold up well, they last long, but the cleaning performance and its ability to remove soil is not as great as a natural fiber bonnet. Now the natural fiber bonnets are mostly cotton. Bonnet Pro was the first one to make a bonnet out of wool and we now also make bonnets that are a cotton and wool blend. And each bonnet has a different feel to it and a different reason why you would use one over the other. But comparing it to the synthetic, the cottons won't last as long. The wool bonnets last quite a while. Uh, but what they do is, it's a comparison, if you would, of a streetcar tire to a race car tire. Um, the synthetic pad will give you long life and average performance. The race car tire will give you a shorter life but very high performance. And when it comes down to cleaning the worst of the worst, the cotton bonnet or the cotton wool uh, blended bonnet is what you want to use under your machine to get the highest level of performance, cleaning performance, as you can get. I frequently get asked, how far do my bonnets go? How, how long do I, do I clean with them before I change them? And there's not a one-size-fits-all answer. You can, you can start an estimate at around 400 feet per side. But if I was in um, a dining room coming out of the, the greasy tile from the kitchen, I might only get 25 or 30 or 40 feet per side. And if I'm in a hallway, I might get eight or 900 feet per side. So if you start at around three or 400 feet, that gives you a good average. So if you're going into a bigger job, you know approximately how many bonnets to take with you. And then maybe you add 50% more just to make sure you have enough uh, to get through that job in case it's dirtier than you thought it was going to be. Now this pad is fairly soiled. I've seen pads dirtier than this. And once you get to about this soil level,